Alright, just straight up pumping out videos today. Okay, so this one's going to be on a roach. This is Comsodes Schwartzi. I don't know if I'm saying that quite right. Um, but they're also known as Schwartz's hooded roach. Um, in the hobby, people are calling them the micro roach. You know, whatever suits your fancy, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, but these are arguably the smallest roach in the hobby. Um, this is one of my cultures. I have three of them. Um, let me see if I can... They all hit since I busted the light out. But that's, there's one. There's a couple. These are really, really small. Um, I'll put a link to uh, my Instagram. Oh, there's some. Um, these guys like a lot of humidity. So um, I'll put a link... Um, yeah, there's a ton. I'll put a link to my Instagram where um, I'll have a picture of an adult female to scale. Um, these are really, really tiny. Their nymphs um, are smaller than mel melanogaster fruit flies. Um, and they breed quite quickly, which makes them a, uh, a possibly a great alternative to... Um, why is it slipping my mind? Um, to fruit flies, sorry. Um, could make a great uh, alternative to fruit flies because they're even smaller, um, they're more nutritious than fruit flies, um, and then the adults uh, fit like a, a larger feeder requirement. They're great for mar micro geckos, slings, and stuff like that. Um, um, as far as uh, food and whatnot, I feed them um, carrots, squash, uh, little bits of uh, dog or cat kibble. Um, I put some. So this soil mix is a really nice soil. It's uh, it's it's like an AGB type thing mixed with my own compost, and then um, I put some like bat guano and worm castings in there. Um, then there's uh, some leaves. I gotta add more leaves in here. Um, some leaves mixed in some. Uh, stuff that's rotting and processed a little more, and then they've got the rotting wood in here. Um, some lichen in there, too. Um, they're detritivores, um, which kind of leads me to the next good thing about them. These could um, be a really cool addition to the uh, the cleanup crew gang the bio, for the bioactive stuff. Um, just because uh, that's their job. They, they eat detritus and things that are rotting, and um, I think that they have a lot of potential, but we'll see. Um, there's another really small roach, which I don't know if I did a video on them. Um, I don't think I did, but I also think I did. Um, the little Kenyan roach, um, which these are even smaller than little Kenyans, about half the size of little Kenyan females. Um, but yeah, just make sure you keep them humid. Um, oh, to contain them, you need some kind of micron mesh. This is micron 120. Um, if you can go finer, go finer. Um, but if you do go finer, you have to add more ventilation because less air gets through. But there's uh, top ventilation and then two side vents. And I might even add more vents. I was just really lazy when I made this this enclosure. But they seem to be doing really well. Um, yeah. Um, this is sphagnum moss, just kind of helps hold in moisture a little bit. Um, I give it a spritz every now and again. Um, but yeah, super duper simple. Uh, I think they could really uh, change up the game a little bit. I'll have some available um, for sale at the next couple expos. I might even let some go online, but a couple people have asked me. Uh, uh, I don't know. I have a lot, but I don't know if I have that many to sell. But uh, yeah. Fun little guys. Here, why don't we uh, why don't we do a macro thing? Why not? You know, give me one sec. You guys get a macro video and a a care video all in one time. Let me see. Fix the light here a little bit. It's not quite right. Oh uh, yeah. This is an adult male. A very tiny boy. 
This is only times 15 magnification. I wish it could go higher, but not in this setup. Let me see if I can find some more for us to look at. Oh, yeah. There's a little nymph. Like, that's a hair. That's how tiny these things are. And that's like an older nymph, too. That's not even like a fresh nymph. Um, I'll have a picture of a pregnant female on my Instagram, which I will link in the description. Like I said earlier, I think I mentioned. Yeah, there's two pretty big, big ones. I believe those are females. Yeah, some carrot, and I believe that's bad guano, probably. Yeah, kind of messing up their habitat a little bit here, but why not? Yep, he dropped. some kind of hard to keep them to sit still especially now that I've disturbed them so much Sorry guys, not my best camera work, I know. Maybe we'll just get on the, on the substrate level then. Oh, there's, a, there's a couple. They really get down in there. That's a full grown female right there. You can see why they're called the hooded roach a little bit. They've got, well, a hood kind of. It goes right before their head starts, kind of. Well, Alright, guys. I guess we'll end it there. So, yeah. This is their whole setup. 20 quarts. Gasket tub. Fine mesh. Lots of humidity. Variety of roach foods. And, yeah. You'll have yourself a, a colony. So, yeah. Good night, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace out.